Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Leveling. In this episode, I'm gonna show you um, a quick little trick um, that you can do if you have like a um, like a sequence of OBJ and you want to export it out as Alembic. Um, so there's a quick trick here um, using Spreadshop that uh, you can do to simply like convert all these OBJs into a single Alembic file. So for this example, I'm actually using this um, like a reaction diffusion simulations. I didn't create this using Spreadshop uh, yet, but this is kind of like a teaser. I'm kind of interested to do this um, using just Blender, but in this case, I'm actually using this uh, this cool little uh, app by Tim Hutton. I found this one by accident. Actually, it's actually very very cool uh, tools and you can download it at this github basically just find this golly gang and the app name is actually ready it's a very weird name for a very cool app uh, maybe react it's like a reaction diffusion so it's called reality but basically the app is looking something like this this is just one example if I reset uh, this guy, um, I'll stop the recording. Um, action and re generate initial pattern. And I run the simulations. It's going to create the reactions, um, diffusion simulations um, in 2D and also in 3D. Uh, uh, I think you definitely should try this app. It has a lot of examples, very, very cool. And what I did basically, um, there's a way to export out this uh, surface from this software, uh, from this tool. If you turn on the start recording, and instead of using the PNG or JPEG, you can use the 3D surface. And this guy will output the, the OBJ or the FTP file format. In this case, we want the OBJ and I'm exporting out to this folder and we're gonna have like a bunch of ob uh, OBJ sequence inside the folder and what I did using um, Spreadshop actually is simply uh, no before I go to Spreadshop uh, I have to tell you that I'm actually using the script there's a script that comes with the with the ready app so this guy actually has one script for blender import obj sequence and this is the one that I'm using um, so if we open up the script editor just a text editor open up a script um, and this is a python script you can simply just change the, uh, the path so if you are using like a Windows, maybe you want to write the path uh, something like this. Uh, I'll show you. Um, so this is the, the OBJ file path. I just copy the path. I'm currently working on Windows because my Mac is kind of it's using the uh, Mac OS High Sierra and it's kind of crashing. So I'll I'm just gonna be using Windows for a bit. Okay, in Windows, the path is actually looking like this, but if you are using Python, you can simply do do it like this, and it should work. And yeah, if you do this, it's gonna load all the OBJ. Just run the script. It's gonna load all the file OBJ sequence, and then it's gonna kind of switch it on and off. Like so, you can see it's uh, kind of animating. So that's, but you, you will end up with a lot of files and I don't like this so much. So I decided, okay, let's just export this out as Alembic. But in order to do that, I'm actually using Spreadshop. So this is, uh, this is the original file from Ready app inside Blender. So that's pretty quick, you know, it's just like switching the visibility on and off. Um, 
now I'm bringing it into Spreadshop, bring all of them um, using this object ID selector. I'm basically get all the mesh data, whether it is like feasible or not, and then filter it by the name, frame underscore, and then using the list item and the frame info, it's gonna kind of switch the file, uh, switch the data uh, for each frames, and you can end up uh, with a single alembic file. So I'll show you. So this is the preview, but instead of using the preview, I'm gonna use the bmesh viewer, and this guy will generate real data. So polygon goes in there. So that's the real data. I'm gonna export. I'm selecting the the objects, and then if I'm not wrong, I actually need to use a modifier. It's kind of like the trick blender to export out this as a single alembic file. So file save and file export alembic. And make sure this is like for selected objects only. And I'm gonna export 75 frames and RDE. Okay, let's uh, just export it out. Hopefully it works. <clears throat> if you have like a bunch of OBJ sequence, this is actually very, very efficient. So I'm gonna start. This is a default Blender files. I'm gonna file, import, Alembic, and desktop. I think this, this is the one. Import Alembic. Now we should have this guy as a single object. You can see this is just like a one object in the scene, 75 frames, super fast, and Alembic can actually handle like a, a change of um, polygon counts per frame, so this is very cool. And once you do, you have this, you know, you can do a lot of things, um, including if you want to use like a blender modifier, like wireframe or whatever, you know, this will actually work. And let's say you can actually even use a spread chalk. Um, spread chalk new object in get selection mod post modifier, and then you can use like uh, I think bevel, bevel vertices, edges, polygon, vertex only, person. We draw. Let's see if this is working. So we have this. I'm gonna hide the original and let's see. Maybe I can just play around with this number. Okay, this one doesn't work. Maybe offset. One of these actually give you like a dual mesh. So that's what I want. Uh, 0 0.3. Okay, something like that. So this kind of, this is a fake, fake dual mesh. It, it's kind of give, give you this kind of pattern. And it's definitely better than triangles or normal quad so this looking slightly more interesting and then you you also have this uh, reaction diffusion happenings so yeah it's very very cool so yeah this is how you can convert like a obj sequence into a single alembic file using spread uh, but i want to give you a, a quick teaser basically i I'm always interested with the uh, reaction diffusion, and I know I, I did talk about it in the past in one of the video, but I was while doing this, uh, while researching this in Google, I actually found there is uh, also this um, Blender add-on. I think this is still like work in progress, but you can already play around with this 
and I think I will have to play around with it. I think it's still unstable, but you can already kind of like uh, displace a 3D objects and get this kind of organic, organic looking pattern. But but then then again, you actually with the Ready app, this this app is so powerful, and then when you combine this with Blender, you actually have like a like a the benefit of both. This one can quickly like. This is like real time, right? You can simply like uh, maybe bring in your 3D model in here and then you're kind of visualizing um, this uh, diffusion um, diffusion algorithm happenings in real time and then once you're happy with it, you can bring it out into Blender. Um, apparently, you can do that. Um, i show you real quick. This is like a, a teaser. So... I probably need to write an article about it, uh, you know, like blog it. Uh, let's see. Oh, basically, I start with a ready app and then I bring it into this app, another app called Paraview, because this Paraview can kind of filter out. This is like kind of like a mesh lab, but for um, kind of complex visualizations, and you can kind of set up the transparency as well. And then you can export it out into Blender, and then Blender can displace the objects, perhaps play with transparency. No, actually, I'm using SpareChalk here, deleting um, like half of the diffusion, and I end up with something like this. Um, let's see it. So yeah, that's the whole process. Start with Ready App, bring it into Paraview, adjusting the the difference between these two um, chemicals and then this is a preview for the transparency and so on this is in square chalk and this is what you end up with very cool you might actually able to print this out um, yeah and yeah I guess that's uh, gonna be for the next one perhaps um, it's a little bit more complicated. I would like to do this all inside Blender, actually using Spectroke at some point. It's not, it's not impossible, but I think using another open source program like this, like Ready, is actually very, very, very cool. And you kind of put everything together and blend, blend all the data, and then it's kind of really cool. It's, it's almost like a um, reaction diffusion algorithm itself. So you have like many different apps and they're kind of not related but you um, you can also you can use all of them together use all of them together and to to achieve something new so yeah let's see how it works in the next uh, video I guess um, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video thank you bye